you feel when you get a gift from someone that your relationship with them is very healthy? Regardless of the price of the gift, whether it costs a dollar, it costs a million dollars, the gift is very valuable because it comes from someone who values you. There's a principle that Jesus unpacked for us in Matthew 5 verse 23. Here's what Jesus said. Therefore, if you're offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to your brother, then come and offer your gift. What we learn from these verses is this. Our gifts are extensions of ourselves. Who we are and the kind of relationship we have with the person in front of us is representative by our gift. Welcome to Moments at Impact. I'm David Ireland. This principle that Jesus unearthed for us is teaching us that when we give gifts to God, God is not going to readily receive our gifts if it comes from someone who is ignoring broken relationships. If you want to have a peaceful home, make sure you labor on repairing your relationship with your loved ones. Don't sweep it under the rug, the infractions. Don't ignore the offenses because they'll build up to become wedges and grudges in your relationship. It'll cause a root of bitterness to spring up. And so this man, when he was in worship, all of a sudden he remembered that his brother had something against him. Whether he said something to his brother that was wrong, whether he's done something in terms of behavioral infraction, whatever it may be, something was not right relationally. And Jesus affirmed the man's right choices. His choice? Leave his gift at the altar. Don't continue worshiping. Don't press through. Rather, go home and establish a peaceful relationship with your brother. Then come back and give your gift. So we learn our gifts are extension of ourselves. If we have a lot of broken, fragmented, unhealthy relationships, when we give gifts to God, all God is seeing our relationships that are dysfunctional, and He's not seeing the purity of our gifts. May I encourage you today, work on your home environment so that your relationships with your family members are healthy, so when you go and worship, oh, your worship will be well received by God because it comes from a place of health relationally with others. I look forward to our next time together. God bless you.